Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dungeon Rats. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we get this final this fight underway uh, when we fight basically the Emperor's Guard and uh, an enforcer apparently. They're all enforcers, but sure, whatever, doesn't matter. So I have prepared for this battle. I have now come to a conclusion about what the strategy is gonna be. It's not that hard of a battle if you have plenty of poison to deal to them. Usually fights like this usually go well with poison. So we're gonna start off by the hardest enemies to hit. And these are the two. Now, the reason why I chose this guy is because he throws nets and he's terrible and he's ugly as well. So he's gonna die, hopefully. And then, that guy over there, because he's got a shield. But, this guy's got 50 health and, um, and that guy needs to die. So, let's go ahead and shoot him. 96% chance to hit. And, of course, I, I've managed to miss them, in my, uh, miss that shot in uh, my own attempt at this battle. We'll fall back because that's kind of crucial for what is about to happen. That is about to happen. That's okay. It's totally fine. We're gonna continue to fall back and just basically, basically, basically make a barrier. That thing right there is gonna be what we are gonna use, but in a little bit. Let them come. Let them come. They're doing their thing. That actually is a bad thing that that guy goes over there because I wanted that guy to take a shot. I can take a shot of that guy, which is interesting because I couldn't before, but now I can. Um, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna reload here with piercing. We're using steel tips. So this guy is the first one, this guy is the second one, let's take a shot there, and now he's poisoned. And then that guy needs to be poisoned as well. Basically it's a game of distributing poison damage, and also having Vela be very upset with this wall affair. She will, she might throw a bomb in there for good measure, she actually isn't the best one to, to throw a bomb because she's she goes before them, so throwing a bomb is kind of a waste for her, but I'm gonna wait until they're a little bit more clumped up, uh, hopefully that's not gonna happen. Uh, I'm actually gonna fall back with her because I don't want to ha have her take too much damage. We'll see how that goes. And they're shooting. They're shooting at her. That's fantastic. And now he took. He take. He's not bleeding, but he took a critical hit. That is bad. The reason why that is bad is because this is the perfect opportunity for me to throw that. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to throw opponent. Yeah, that's not gonna be a problem. That's not gonna be a thing that I'm gonna be able to do. Is it 15%? Of course not. Of course not. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to st stick it out a little bit more. That was a really bad lucky, th bad luck thing right there. I'm gonna try to go for his arms uh, and make him bleed as well. That helps a little bit. And especially if these guys get all clumped up. Well, how much damage was that? Four. Okay, it's not too bad. Uh, they're all on top of her, which is bad and also a little bit un unsanitary. But some of these guys don't have helmets, like that guy right there, that apparently I can shoot. So I'm gonna load with barbed over here, and I'm gonna shoot for the head right there. Okay, that's fantastic. And if he dies, and he might be about to die, because he's almost dead, yeah, he's gonna die. So then the M4 sir over there is also gonna take a shot, 89%, and I get that one. Fantastic. So this means that I could throw a bomb over here, if I could, and I can't. I could throw a bomb over there, and that'll be pretty good damage. Uh, the problem is uh, my friend. But I don't care about my friend. Yeah, Ismail can take it, and actually only took two damage. That's that's the reason why I did that. Uh, and if I move up, uh, I can't move up. There's a reason why this is like this. I'm gonna stay over here, and uh, and I'll be there. I'll be there. Okay, so stay. Okay, I think somebody. Oh, they're shooting Ismail. That's not good. That's not good. But Ismail is a big guy, and he's gonna stay alive. I'm gonna throw this over there. That's gonna. What? Okay. Um. Okay, that doesn't work then. Okay. Oh, well, let's take the good with the bad. There, it was a good thing that I did a, a dollar damage with the bomb. The bomb does work very well, but um, apparently that doesn't work. I can't throw the bomb on the bridge because it falls down there. It makes sense. It makes sense. I would like to have been told that though before. But now I know, I guess that's uh, that's gonna be how it's gonna go. The, the strategy goes around very, very the same exactly, exact way as it went before. Now, of course, if I miss that one, which is the only one that's actually, and this one, I guess. Um, if I miss any of these, then basically the strategy is toast. But I think I'm gonna use nice dodge right there. Nice, seven damage, that's fine. You are gonna stay where you are. You're gonna fall back a little bit. Well, stay there wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, let's, let's fall back over here because you're gonna take damage anyway from the from the uh, enforcer. So stay stay there. And it might change their disposition. And I think it does. This is actually good because I'm, I can shoot these two. Uh, and there's a there's a case to be made to have her over there. But the thing is that changes how things work and it, it, all, all they set themselves up. 
and uh, and that's actually kind of not a good idea. So that guy is poisoned, and if I shoot that one, he's poisoned as well, and we're good here. Uh, there is no real big reason for her to stay here. Let's fall back a little bit more. Just keep her away from the enemy, from the damage. We're, we've got a good place here to throw a bomb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to use up a bunch of action points to do that, though, which is kind of a problem. But I'm gonna take advantage of that. Let's see. So if I could throw a bomb, a bomb over there, that'd be a good thing. I can't, so just don't use the bomb. You're gonna stay where you are, and you're gonna hopefully do dodge a few things. Dodge. Dodge. There it is. And then four points, and he's bleeding. That's pretty good. And now is the last opportunity that I have to get everybody behind the, the the fire. So, I am gonna use three action points, then I'm gonna need to use two action points falling back with a 28, uh, 25%. Okay, that's five action points done. I can use another five. No, that's five over there. So that's two plus five, that's three. I can use three to attack this guy and make him bleed, hopefully. Nope, didn't make him. Okay, it's fine. Didn't get the attack of opportunity either. So that's, that's what happened, actually, to me the first time around. We can win it like this. It's a little bit weird, but we can definitely do it. Okay, so now you are gonna start your continue your killing your shooting spree. Make sure that guy over there for some reason evaded my my wrath. Let's take a shot there. Uh, now this guy you could attack him, but what I'll do is I'll do it a little bit different. Vela is gonna be able to get out of her net in a little bit. This guy, I could go for this guy because it's the first one to go. I don't know if he's too poisoned or what, but I could also reload a couple of crossbows. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Let's just shoot him. Four points of damage right there. Okay, so she's going to move up. Oh, that's a bad thing because she's... Oh, that's a bad thing. That is a bad thing. Okay, so now I can attack this guy's arms, which is what I want to do. Uh, and that's going to go with this one because this has a higher chance to crit. And even though I'm pretty bad at critting, for some reason it's not the passive is not actually doing what I thought it was gonna do. Oh well. The prison's hierarchy ensures that top talent in the only area that truly matters in this part of the world gravitates up. So the higher you go, the higher the chances of running into individuals who are truly gifted when it comes to killing with extreme prejudice. Thus, it came to no surprise when the Emperor's enforcer and his crew of hand-picked thugs skillfully demonstrated why you were chosen to uphold order and deal with the troublemakers who refused to fall in line. If anyone harbored any suspicions that it was time for a change, they quickly disappeared without a trace when the latest challenger was chopped to pieces and fed to the scorpions. Yep, I, I'm guessing that I'm gonna need to try this again, but I've gotten very, very close to, to actually on my first try of this strategy, I've gotten very close to, uh, to doing it. Um, it was just another stupid mistake of sending Vela to try and deal with the crossbowman, and she just got murdered because of, um, yeah, basically, there, there's no way to dodge that. I mean, there is a way if she lucked into, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna need to send... Uh, Ishmael to deal with that guy, or I could shoot him as well and just be away because it's it seems that that guy is not very good at shooting. But anyway, I'll be right back with uh, more things. This is good, and uh, basically through the correct usage of my bomb and the fire as well without throwing it down there, I was able to basically poison everybody. That guy is toast, that guy is gonna be toast, if not right away, he's gonna be later on, that guy is also gonna be dying pretty soon, and I was able to recently poison that uh, guard back there, which is this guy. No, actually not. It's this one? Yes, it is. <clears throat> it's gonna take a little while to kill him, but now I'm in a good position to just basically take advantage of his lack of skill, because he's really bad. Uh, and I also have a, a scoped crossbow if I need to shoot him, uh, so everything will be fine. And actually, you know what? You know what I should do here? I should remove this crossbow over here, because I'm never gonna use the four of them again. And there it is. I'm gonna stay here and wait for them to come to me, and we will kill these guys. That that also happened before. Counterattack and a kill! Ooh, fantastic! Fantastic! Now that guy is gonna continue to be the problem. Ishmael is not gonna be a problem. Uh, I'm gonna move him up, and he's gonna be attacked in the face uh, a couple of times, but hopefully not to great uh, effect. Dodge, nice. Okay, that's good. So that guy, he took three poison damage. This guy is taking very little poison damage. That's not. And actually, that guy, how much did he take? Six. Um, Ismail dodges the attack. Okay, so he's taking six, so he's gonna die. This guy, this guy, okay, this guy is out of, is out of things. So let's just, um, he's got, he's got a crappy thing, actually. Let's just reload, no, not regular. Let's go with piercing, iron, and I'm gonna attack his head. 
Okay, that was... It's kind of a risk. But it paid off. Okay, so with that... Um, I don't want Vela to turn her back against that guy, even though I'm pretty sure he's gonna die. I'm gonna move her up here, and I'm gonna go for this. Oh, it's very easy to, to hit. He's badly wounded, but I'm gonna go for his arms, because otherwise... Okay, he blocked once. Let's see what he does. Okay, that was three points of damage. That's fine. I am gonna move you to here, and see if you can kill this guy over here, because that guy hopefully will fall over dead. Let's go with a head attack. Mm-hmm, pretty good. Uh, the uh, attack penalty right there is very, very nice. I think I think we got broken armors, by the way. Uh, no, not that I can see. Not that I can see. At least not him. I think it's Vel or something. Counter-attack right there! Oh, zero points of damage. Okay, uh, now that guy needs to take a little bit more poison damage. This guy is not gonna die right away. That's okay, that's okay. I'm gonna move her to this side, see if I can take a shot. I cannot. I can take a shot from here. I am gonna reload, and I'm gonna aim for the head, 89% chest hit, don't hit my friends, which is fantastic. And now this guy is going to die, and I am gonna attack him with arterial strikes. Hopefully he doesn't block all of them. Oh, he did. Okay, that's kinda bad. Uh, that's kinda bad because uh, th this guy needs to die. I'm gonna go with a fast here, see if I can make him... Nope, can't kill him. Down he, da down he goes. Okay, so now he needs a little bit of loving as well, or again, I should say. Okay, right there, and then I can do this. Because it only... Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, it costs considerably more. Two action points to equip. Okay, then forget it. Reset. No, 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 don't need that. Uh, stay there. Let's see what happens. You are gonna stay there, and hopefully that guy... Okay, that's good. Move you up there. See if you can shoot him, and you can. Just another shot. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. The Emperor's favorite Enforcer and his men are dead. So much for law and order. You notice a faint glow coming from the Enforcer's belt bag. Inside you find a strange blue sphere, glowing with blue light. My precious! Pocket it before anyone sees it. And actually, let's see... What is that? A demon core. But why is it blue? It shouldn't be blue. Apparently it is blue. Uh... Sure? I suppose. Let's go with regulars here on iron. We got plenty of poison if we need it. We didn't actually take that much damage from that fight, simply because, I don't know, it was my second attempt uh, on my second run of tries on this one, because I was trying yesterday and I just uh, didn't have time to continue. And then today I came back to uh, Dungeon Rats and I'm having a lot of fun again, because this game is just so much fun. So much fun, seriously guys. I, at least for me, anyway. I, I, I suppose some people might find it different, but I'm sure if you're watching you might you might find it very good. Very good. And suiting your uh, your desires are from a game like this. Okay, so Vela, let's see how we're doing in terms of healing and all that sort of stuff. We are 21 away, 17 away right there. I think Ishmael could do well with a little bit more love. We ha we do have um, we do have a lot of rations, so I could go just with maximum over here. But that's for four right there. I'm not gonna use rations. I don't. Th should I use rations? Uh, alchemy. Uh. Mm, let's use that. We got we got a few of these. We got a few of these. Okay, so I'm gonna do do it like that. And bring him up over there. It's a little bit a little bit too much, but there we go. Yeah, we have plenty of rations. I actually was thinking the other day. I we we're going way overboard with the optimization of what we're uh, actually doing over here. Uh, our current predicament is mostly regarding um, just basically bombs and, and fire. Fire, I miscalculated, by the way. I shouldn't have done the fire. We need better alchemy. Speaking of which, can I make it better? Yes, I can right there. That's going to be good for Ishmael, but not right away. I don't know how much alchemy I need for the uh, enhanced fire. But if I can make it, I'll make it. Also, I need to look, uh, because it's like this. Basically, this thing, with this thing, makes... Um, I don't know. I, I don't know how, how how much it requires. You need eight points in alchemy to create it. Okay, so this I don't actually know the difference. Uh, I think it. Oh, it sets enemies on fire. That's okay. And basically, they take damage every turn. That's a nice one, but I, I don't know how, how on how many things that thing applies. And uh, so I'm just gonna go over here and uh, see uh, on where that applies. If it just applies on fire, then it, it's it it was kind of a loss because we're probably not gonna get rock oil too often. Uh, although. We might be about to get some or something, but uh, apparently it is just on this. Huh, quick lime. A corrosive substance produced heating limestone. It's used to make lime mortar, purify steel, uh, burn longer, and yeah, it's just for that. I should have read that. 
Oh well, let's look at our, uh, let's actually save the game, and let's look at our loot. We have ourselves a Minab, we have a Tower Shield and a Lorica Segmentata that has a maximum action point of 10, and we have a Phrygian Helmet for, uh, it's made of iron, it's kind of broken, uh, and it has DR5. We have the Enforcer Gladius, made of Sky Metal, which is Meteor, or Meteorite. That thing is really, really good. I, I'm willing to... To accept. Look at that. Look at the thing. And it and it's got the the damage strikes. 39. <laughs> right. Okay. It's a sword. Uh it's a actually could be considered a dagger. It's a, it's a special thing. Let's see. Double-edged sword, short sword designed for thirsting and slashing in the close quarters. It's actually, I don't know if it's true or not. I learned in university that gladius uh, or gladii were or gladii. Is it said in red in Latin? Um, it's it, they weren't for slashing. They they were dull most of the time. Um, they were for parrying if you needed them, but mostly for piercing uh, and uh, yeah, cause slashing. Yeah, it against armored opponents doesn't really work as well. It's and piercing works against everybody, and they just because they stood behind their their tower shields and they just jab with the gladii, and uh, that's how it goes. So that's a nine to twelve action points of four. That's a fantastic weapon. Oh yeah, that's that's a fantastic weapon. Just put it over there. No question about that. And also that thing over there that you see for damage, we can do that as well, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, let's move on, see what we have. And this, of course, Sakai Metal. We have a Lorica Musculata, uh, which has a DR of 8, maximum action points of 12. So very, very, very good. Let's transfer... Excuse the hiccup. Let's transfer that. I'm going to put this on myself because I like the, the ones covering my breast right there. And uh, let's just drop this because I don't need it. There's no traders in the game or anything, so there's no point in carrying that around. Uh, speaking of which, didn't we have anything broken? Not that I can see, so everything is perfect. Everything is awesome. So this Lorica Musculata should armor penalty of 17. That's kind of a of an issue. Armor harness is considerably higher, though. I think I'm going to go with uh, Roxana over here. Give her that thing over there, and she's going to be... Although she dodges so well... Should be Vela, and Roxana is not gonna is not gonna have that. So there it is. There it is. That's good. That's good. We're gonna be able to craft these later on, but that's it's pretty awesome. Maximum action points of twelve. Hopefully, I will be able to craft something like that. We have sledgehammers, auxiliary stuff. Nothing really interesting. We have uh, a trident and gladiator gear. That's okay. We have a cape over there. We have uh, some cartas. Nothing really too extraordinary. And we have ourselves the emperor's guard with what is that? Oh, the double crossbow, that's right. This thing is really, really good, actually. It's a shame. Actually, it's it's no shame at all. This thing is awesome. I don't need to dual wield um, on my main... Uh, on my main uh... Yeah, this is better than two-hand crossbows. Way better than two-hand crossbows. And we have a Yatagan made of steel over here, but it's uh, it's just going to be steel for the, for, the, for the furnace, to be honest. What else do we have? Uh, we have ourselves a Jambia made of steel and a, an armor that we didn't know, studded Numeri armor. These these armors are crappy, I don't know why I keep learning them, but they, I mean, they're light armor, sure, but... That thing is fantastic, we can make that right away, I think. Uh, so, um... Crafting, go with, uh, let's just see, can I bring my crafting up? I cannot, okay, so let's make that right away. Weapons, double crossbow right there, and I'm gonna make it, you need to select the material, oh, I don't have wood. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I'm going to be able to decompose for wood, though, because I have uh, that. That's going to give me wood, and I should have enough. And I have another shield over here, and that's definitely enough right there. Okay, so that thing is it's going to be decomposed sooner or later. No problem. Let's go into crafting. Uh, let's uh, go into double double crossbow right there, because it does more damage. It attacks at the same time. Of course, it takes longer to reload, but it's not a problem, because it's, uh, it's the same exact... Action points, to be honest, so if I can make it better, I can make it better. Uh, let's just forge that. Uh, just one, please, thank you. It's a 200 thing, but it's gonna be really, really good. So let's see, 8 to 11, whereas these ones do 6 to 9, so it's a plus 2 damage right there. To hit chance bonus, it's plus 3, which is fantastic. And uh, the reload speed is effectively the same. Uh, and uh, there we go, so let's unload that. And that's how I'm gonna roll from now on. Let's reload this with a regular iron, and we're gonna move on. Yep. And also, I, I I probably should keep these loaded on the side, but I I'm gonna need to figure out how to go with that. Let's go, let's go, let's see where this leads, because this is a new area for us to explore. And we have a camp up here. We're gonna have to fight, aren't we? 
Hell yeah, we're gonna have to fight. Let's not go there right away. Let's go over here to the barricade. Destroy the barricade! Clunk, 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 and where does these lead? Oh boy. The elevator shaft. Why can't I use it? This elevator shaft has been disabled. A warning sign nearby promises certain death to all who enter. Now you really want to know what's in there. Reverse psychology be damned. Attempting, but maybe later. Yeah, well, I can't do anything about it, which is kind of weird. It's kind of weird. Let me enable the tab key. That's very, very crucial for me not to miss anything. I think we're going to be able to come back through here later as the game evolves and, and just, uh, evol you know, evolves into more encounters and all that sort of stuff. This does look like a... There's gonna be guys in here. No? Well, that's a surprise for sure. Uh, we have Dragon's Blood Extract. Contrary to popular belief, Dragon's Blood is a tree that owes its name to the red resin it produces. This resin has a near miraculous curative and alchemical properties, or so the alchemists say. Unfortunately, the tree only grows on a small archipelago of four islands somewhere in the southern seas, which makes the Dragon's Blood's extract as rare as if it actually came from dragons. Modifier reagent. And that's for, um, I think we had that actually. No, we didn't. Uh, that's for uh, uh, the um, neurostimulant. We have a bunch of restorative liniments, and I actually... Oh, a bunch of black powder bomb. Are these the ones that are good? That's really nice. We have a lot of supplies right there. Uh, nobody has stat damage, which is fantastic. And let's see, ingots over here uh, of steel. Is that steel? Yeah, that's steel. That's really good. We're going to be able to make steel stuff. We have a bunch of rations, a bunch of... The oh, a bunch of everything. Uh, unfortunately, no, none of uh, the things that I needed... This thing, quick lime, or actually, rock oil. Yeah, fire is really a really really powerful tool to use in combat. Although bombs are pretty good as well. A rope with a grappling hook. Look at that! I didn't think we would would find such a thing, but I can transfer all of that into. Oh, I see what that is for. I see what that is for. The game is telling me things, and you guys are are seeing it as well, aren't you? Of course you are. Of course you are. Let's go. Actually, I would like to know if I could climb down through here. It's. Is the game going to tell me anything if I just step on over here? Apparently not. Okay, let's let's go this way. Apparently we went... We, oh, we jumped the gun. We jumped the gun! Anyway, let's go. Save the game there again, and go. Uh, so use the rope with a grappling hook to descend to Under Mountain. Oh boy. That, why is it called Under Mountain? Aren't we always under the mountain? Okay, looks a little bit... What? This is pre-war technology. Why can't be? Oh, these might be the tunnels that they, f where they found the thing, the the chant, the guy, the guy that we heard from before. Although I don't see anything that points to that. It's mostly just a bunch of lava, and maybe we've even been here before. I think so. Yeah, we've definitely been here before. We're oh, we've been here before. Okay, so I, why did I see that? I mean, I didn't explore, but there are lamps in here. Maybe I did see that, and I just didn't... I didn't figure it was going to be uh, relevant or something. Okay, let's go back. Let's have Vela be the, be the first... Vela be the first one to go. V, V, V. Uh, save the game, and let's go. Although, didn't save the game. There it is. Let's see what we have. We're going to have enemies, right? Of course. At first glance, it appears to be a kind of hideous shrine or statue. Oh, I know what it is. A metal spider rearing up on its back legs... Uh, but taking a few steps forward, you see it's a machine, a mechanical construct straight out of some sorcerer's nightmare. On the top half is you, the top half is humanoid with arms ending in blades, and not the kind used for chopping vegetables. This upper part is perched on two, on four spike-tipped legs, any one of them long enough to run a man through. Two more constructs step out of the shadows, flanking their leader. And in the age of decadence, we are given a chance. These th these things are different. They're differently colored, though. We're given a chance to um, to disable them as we fight them, but we can't. Not this time around. Okay, so let's be brave, and I'm probably gonna use um, hardened stuff for my oh, the, the the things the, the things that sharpen my blades and all that. So let's reload. Actually, let me see how many piercing uh, things I have. Piercing steel, I have 40. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go with that. Let's. Uh, Reload with piercing steel. Reload with piercing steel. And of course, these aren't going to be as good. Nearly as good, that's for sure. But but it's still going to be good damage right off the bat. Let's see what happens. I just want to see if they are going to murder me in the first turn. Not really. Surprisingly enough. 
Okay, that's pretty good. They have very little health, all things considered. That is actually quite fantastic. Quite fantastic indeed. Nine points of damage. Straight to the head. It Did it bypass the armor? Roxana hits a construct, causing a slight uh, concussion, reducing the accuracy. But apparently it does, uh, doesn't have armor in the helmet, though. Oh, I'm going to use that to my advantage. I am so going to use that. Oh, that, that dodge. That was unfortunate as hell. There it is. Okay, so attack. Uh, let's go with... Yeah, with that beautiful weapon. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weapon. That's a kill right there. Holy crap. <laughs> and now... Ooh, defense. Oh, the criticals. Ow, the criticals. Okay, we might still win this. Let's go with barbed. Um, aim the head right there. Yeah, that, that does it. That definitely does it. And then you attack the head right there. Can you attack the head? Uh, no, you can't. You can go for arterial strikes, though, but that's... What do you have? You have broken arms or something? 36 chance to hit. That's terrible. Okay, you're gonna need to move over there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay, let's try that again. And this time around, I'll uh, I'll use the barbed, barbed things, because those are way better against these guys. I didn't know they didn't have armor in the helmets. Um, and now I do. Okay, so Roxana is gonna be the one over here. Reload with beer. Nope. Reload with barbed. Reload with barbed. We have only iron barbed as well, so that's gonna be pretty good. You're gonna stay back there. This guy's gonna attack you. With a six damage, that's pretty decent. That guy doesn't attack, and that. Please dodge. Ah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. So you are gonna need to aim for the head for this guy. Please don't miss. That'd be fantastic. I just said, please don't miss. That would be fantastic. There it is. Okay, now you, sir, what can you do? You can go with a aimed head over there. And that's a dodge, unfortunately. That is quite bad. That's very little damage. That's only five damage right there. That's very little damage right there. That's pretty decent. Go with a couple of aimed heads over here. And if things go well... Yeah, you're gonna die next turn. Okay, so I'm gonna attack you in the arms. I think that's... No, actually, this the hit chance is awful. Let's go for the legs. Uh... It doesn't bring down the uh, the dodge chance. Let's move you over there. Ow! That is terrible! Holy crap! I'm gonna I'm gonna Oh yeah, I'm I'm doing this badly, but I'm gonna win this battle. It's not a problem. Uh yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm I don't want that much damage. Especially not the uh Yeah, I basically all I need, all I need is to have uh Yeah, it doesn't do any damage. Uh all I need is to have uh Oh that, 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 that so they have like spears. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's good. I can't attack? Not enough. Sure, go for the torso. Right there. Yeah, they have very little armor as well. With a counterattack, very good. Now we attack that. And please don't miss. There it is. Well, now it's gonna die. I think. Let's go with a power attack there. There it is. Let's see what it says. It doesn't say anything. Well, that's just as... <gasps> we got rock oil out of them. And metal bronze and all that. Oh, okay. The bronze is not really relevant. Oh, some steel as well. Very nice. Um, the bronze, yeah. The, the metal is not really that important, but the rock oil is really, really good. I'm just gonna replay this battle, try to get a little bit better. Um, because I, I, I was basically, I was screwing up. Uh, over there, I, I yeah, I screwed up uh, on the tactical side of things. I should have been more patient with Vela, and I should have been more effective with uh, with Ishmael. I should have had them uh, attack with the other sword rather than the big one, but I misclicked a bunch of times. And Well, anyway, that's going to be it for today because we're running out of time. And uh, next time you see me, I will be right here with these guys all dead and with us a little bit better off in terms of health and in terms of armor repair as well because that thing is broken. What broke? Roxana? Ishmael, yeah, that thing is broken like hell. So, um, for now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dungeon Rats. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.